Today I'm going to show you how to access lynda.com through the Hillsborough County Public Library website. So start by navigating to our main page at hcplc.org. From our main page you have two options. Both options are going to start with the Learning and Research tab near the top of the screen. So once you're in the Learning and Research section, you can start by clicking all resources here on the left and either scrolling down the list until you find lynda.com under L or you could actually click the L at the top of the screen to be taken directly there and you'll find the link to lynda.com. Also, if you're at our HCPLC research page, if you scroll down here on the left side we do have a section that says online classes and this is just a collection of resources that we offer that'll help you with anything that you'd like to learn online. So if you click here on online classes, you'll find lynda.com within this collection of resources. Click on lynda.com, and it'll bring you to this screen where you enter your library card number and your PIN. The library card number is the number on the back of your library card beneath the barcode, And the PIN number is usually the last four digits of your telephone number. If you're having any issues logging in, please be sure to give us a call and we can help you with access to this resource. After you log in with your library card and PIN number, you'll be taken to this screen. If there's something specific that you're interested in, you can type it in the search bar at the top. Or if you'd like to browse the offering that lynda.com has, you can hover over the library tab. Under this library tab, Classes are organized by topic, and then within each topic, they're organized even further by type of software. So for this instance, let's go to video, and here you can just hover, you don't need to click. You have specific topics such as video editing, motion graphics, or audio for video, as well as different software packages. So if you're looking for a specific type of software, or if you just want more general information on a topic, you can go ahead and select from the list here. So for this instance, let's go to YouTube under the Software tab. And it'll bring you to a list of tutorials, courses, and other subjects relating to YouTube. Find a topic you're interested in and click on the title. And it'll take you to the course that you've selected. Once you're in the course, you can go ahead and watch the videos. On the left side, you can navigate through each specific topic within this course. And then below the video, you do also have the option to view the transcript of each specific video within this course. If you're not comfortable with the default view given to you by lynda.com, you can use the top of the screen, click where it says Layout, to bring the video front and center. You still do have the options for your bookmarks, for your transcripts and for your overview near the bottom of the screen. And when you're finished learning for the day, you can go ahead and use the top of the screen at the right side to log out. lynda.com will save all of your progress within each course and each playlist that you create, so you can come back to it at a later time.